The Marconi story to me was inspiring because oftentimes people thought I was crazy too. Hearing Marconi's story was like, maybe I'm not the one that didn't belong. Maybe I actually might be exceptional. Mr. Marconi? Sir? Yes, I'm busy at the moment. Mr. Marconi, we respectfully request that you come with us, sir. I couldn't possibly. I'm right in the middle we of We have papers that give us the authority to take you. Papers? Are you from the government? No. We're... From the military? Ministry of Defense? No, sir. Thank God for that. We're from the hospital. What, what hospital? St. Albans. There must be a misunderstanding. Isn't that a mental asylum? Yes, sir. You would just come quietly. I'm sure we can straighten this out later. On whose authority? The hospital is called by your friends. Friends? Acquaintances, perhaps. Concerned for you. And on the gossip of idle, ignorant troublemakers. If you'll you just can... come with us, sir, I'm sure I'll be straightened out. I will not come with you. This is insane. As you say, sir. We have a straight jacket in the carriage. But we don't want to be forced to use it. It's for your own good, sir. I'm sure. Mr. Marconi, I am Dr. Fielding. Finally, an intelligent person, hopefully. Do you know why you are here? I assumed I said too much at a dinner party after a glass or two of champagne, talked about things people don't understand. Your friends are concerned about you, and I must say, so am I. Friends? You claim to be able to send and receive human voices through the air. Yes. Well, you obviously don't realize it, but this is the textbook definition of schizophrenia. I don't hear disembodied voices in my head. Good. I send voices through the air from one device to another by way of invisible waves. And uh, this is less delusional how exactly? It's less delusional because it's true. <laughs> that has not been my experience. And your experience is the thing, <laughs> the thing of the past. And you? I'm a thing of the future. You interest me. I'm happy for you. And you have a, 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 a patient that interests you. For my own part, I have been forcibly removed from my home and my work. I've been stripped of my clothes, given an ice bath, dressed in prison pajamas, and my only crime was to be a little too smart for the smart set in London. Now, if allowed to return to my workshop, can demonstrate these things, preferably my own clothes. Come with me. Thirteen years later, Guillermo Marconi won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1909 at the age of 34. He is now universally recognized as the inventor of the radio. Marconi understood the power of a new idea.